Have you ever wondered why asparagus makes your pee smell like a science experiment gone wrong? Asparagus is a weird superpower, but why does it happen, and why can't some people smell it at all? This culinary betrayal comes courtesy of a sulfur-containing compound called asparagusic acid. Kind of a funny name. When you digest asparagus, the body breaks down asparagusic acid into a delightful cocktail of volatile sulfur compounds like methanethiol and dimethyl sulfide. These are the same kind of compounds that give skunks their signature funk. And because they're small, lightweight, and highly volatile, they evaporate almost instantly when exposed to air. Translation, the moment the urine leaves your body, it immediately transforms into an airborne olfactory crime scene. Some people can detect the smell in their urine within 15 minutes of eating asparagus. Here's where things get weird. Not everyone can smell asparagus pee. In fact, this is two separate genetic quirks at play. One, some people don't produce smelly pee because they lack the enzymes to break asparagusic acid into the stinkier components. Two, some people produce it but can't smell it due to a genetic variation in their olfactory receptors, meaning their nose just doesn't register the odor. This genetic phenomenon is called asparagus anosmia, and studies suggest that anywhere from 20 to 60% of people, I've seen about 40% of people are affected by it, uh, depending on the population studied. If you're like wondering, does cooking asparagus change the outcome? It uh, really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you steam it, you grill it, you deep fry it. If your body makes asparagus pee, it is happening no matter what form I think you had it. So there you have it. The real reason asparagus turns your bladder into a biochemical stink bomb comes down to sulfur chemistry and genetics.